Hi, right, Peter J. Pollock, MD with Ocala Eye with some more of your LASIK questions. The question today is, what causes regression after LASIK? Regression is the loss of effect after the procedure. This can occur either early or late. In early regression, which happens weeks after LASIK, this is most likely an undercorrection because there's sometimes an initial overshoot of effect after which it settles back down towards the goal. This is why we tell patients not to think about an enhancement for at least one to three months to see where things are going to settle. The likelihood of needing enhancement generally goes up the higher the correction. It's about a 5 to 10% margin of error, so a minus 1 myope may not need anything at all, most likely, whereas a minus 7 or a high myope, they could end up needing a plus or minus 0.7 diopter correction because this most likely would be symptomatic. After this early stage, one of the most common causes of regression is actually dry eyes. A lot of people who present for LASIK are contact lens wearers, and they may be unaware that they have significant dry eye because the use of contact lenses can mask the symptoms of dry eye. If it's not diagnosed prior to the LASIK procedure, there is a higher chance of regression. Late regression is often just a statistical outlier. Some people are on the tail ends of the bell curve, and they have more regression than the average patient. But regression one year after LASIK is unusual. So when we see a patient who's had an enhancement more than one year after LASIK, and then they have regression again, this is a red flag for something potentially ominous, such as abnormal thinning of the cornea. Two or more enhancements is especially worrisome. A reputable surgeon will tell a patient no more surgery if they regress after an enhancement. For more information, visit ocalaeye.com forward slash peter dash pollock dash md or give us a call at 352-290-8374.